Hello, my dear essay writers. Now, let us imagine the scenario that you have the essay paper in your hand. There are 10 questions, 10 topics, and you have to select one topic. Let us make this scenario imaginary. From imagination, let us go to reality. Examiner gives you the paper. The first step that you see the whole paper. Now, don't focus on the most difficult topic. If you focus on the most difficult topic, it will become negative, negative energy and that is not sustainable. Because life is either virtuous cycle or it is vicious cycle. A poor is always poor because the poor cannot get out of the circle of poverty because there is no money. There is no money, that's why a poor is poor. And he or she cannot break this cycle because for breaking this cycle, he or she needs more money. This is logical. A rich becomes richer. Why? Because money begets money. So the same is the case in essay writing. If you have studied before, if you have collected data, information, knowledge, understanding, wisdom, experience, observation, vocabulary, grammar, punctuation, spellings, if all these things already you have done, so it will boost your performance. And when you see the topics, so there will be no negativity. Now, when you have the paper in your hand, see all the topics, but don't generate negativity. Otherwise, you will be having tremendous problems. You will be unable to focus on the easiest topic. Now, the easiest topic that you have, that topic should be connected to your master degree, to your graduation, to your interest, to your vocabulary, to your previous preparation. How can you connect that topic to your current position? Once you decide the topic, judiciously, wisely, consciously, focusing on all dimensions, not subjectively, not emotionally, because most of the time, wording of the essay, that is misleading. For example, you see education, so it doesn't mean that every topic containing the topic of education is the same. All the topics having the word of education may have different types of essays. So you have to do your linguistic analysis focusing on each and every word of the topic. And once you start that writing the topic, your introductory paragraph, so imagine your outlines, imagine your thesis statement, imagine each topic sentence of the body paragraph in your conclusion for five to ten minutes that what you are going to do in the coming three hours in css and two hours in the pms examination or any other competitive exam or any other essay writing opportunity now your essay writing depends on your previous preparation your vocabulary your collection of words your synonyms your terminologies your technical knowledge, which you have to present in a non-technical, non-systematic way. So keep in mind that once you generate positivity, it gives you tremendous energy. It gives you a lot of, uh, you know, power that you can continue for coming three hours. Don't, you know, pretend that you know nothing. You know everything mix your knowledge with your experiences and observation. Now, in each paragraph, remember, this is indispensable, this is inevitable, this is unavoidable, that in each paragraph, you must maintain the unity. Unity you will maintain by coherence and cohesion. And you will maintain by topic sentence. And each topic sentence means that there is a topic of the paragraph. As you have topic of the whole essay, similarly, you have topic of the paragraph. This thing you should not forget because examiner is checking 
that which topic you are discussing in the paragraph because paragraph that is the unit of the whole essay so if you are each and every paragraph that has a particular topic sentence and you are discussing one particular aspect or dimension of your topic then your essay will be having automatically coherence and cohesion don't mix different topics different dimensions different aspects in the same paragraph one paragraph one topic one dimension one topic sentence one kind of illustration one kind of explanation you cannot uh, mix different things for example you are writing an education so the social dimensions of education should be reflected only in one paragraph and you cannot mix politics society culture budget finance economics of education in one paragraph that will be totally disastrous so you have to keep in mind this very very important topic so when you have the list read the list no negativity select one topic and then start your introductory paragraph imagining your thesis statement what will be your thesis statement what will be your position on the topic that is very very important now when you reach to the conclusion you have to repeat the thesis statement you have to rephrase you have to change the words and again you have to write the thesis statement in the conclusion uh, paragraph thesis statement is the first sentence in the conclusion paragraph and thesis statement is the last sentence in introductory paragraph these are the technicalities the format and the structure of essay writing because essay writing is academic writing plus your own personality plus literary devices in other types of uh, academic uh, writing we may not use a lot of figures of speech a lot of literary devices and we may not mix our personality in other kind of academic writing but essay is academic writing plus literary devices plus your own personal observation your own personal analysis your own personal critical reasoning your own critical thinking your own conclusions your own judgments your own decisions but in an indirect way this you have to differentiate so when you have all these things in your mind and you select the topic according to your choice according to your knowledge and you understand the format of essay the structure of essay and then you have knowledge and observations and experiences then who will stop you from not writing for 3 hours or 2 hours that will be then automatic that will be then spontaneous then that will be natural flow then that will be not artificial so essay writing is a big challenge that is the challenge of your personality that is the challenge of your knowledge and meet this challenge as tomorrow in safe essay writing classroom we have 3 hours examination so this was general discussion particularly for the safe members that please if you cannot write 30 or 25 body paragraphs at least write 2 3 body paragraphs because that will be evaluated professionally that will be checked word by word sentence by sentence so this is a great opportunity for you guys that you can have the evaluation you can have the checking you can have the feedback you can have the encouragement you can have the discouragement because if you are discouraged so you are shown your reality then look this is your reality because we are not just giving you motivational doses we are not giving you the poison of motivation we are telling you what is your reality if your reality is great we will say you are great if your reality is mean if you are low if you are not performing well we are telling you you are not performing well we do not concoct we do not create things from our own mind because there is no subjectivity there is only objectivity so we focus on you not on ourselves i do not have any likes or dislikes i do not have any favorite and unfavorite i do not have any or all our faculty or teachers they do not have any particular personal attachment in the classroom we may i may have got some relative i may like some person personally because of some personal habits because of some personal attachment 
but that is not limited to the classroom. So this is your litmus test. This is your X-ray. This is your scan, your scanning, your reality, your body tests, your laboratory tests that what kind of biochemistry you have, what your, how your mind is functioning, how your body is functioning, how your focus, your attention, your grammar, your language, your spellings, your punctuation, your paragraphs, your coherence, your cohesion, your uh, thesis statement, your introductory sentences, your topic sentence, your illustration, your explanation, your conclusion, how, how the things are happening, how the things are working. So don't avoid this opportunity. Everybody must be there. I have given you so many doses. We are giving you more and more doses. And if we are so sincere, why not you will be sincere? Life is a cycle. World is globe. Either make it virtuous or make it vicious. If you are interested, if you are dedicated, if you are already prepared, then you will feel better, you will enjoy. Otherwise, you will be having complaints. You will be having the mentality of a victim, that you are victimized, that you are a failed person, that you are inferior, that you can do nothing, that you are meaningless, that you know nothing, that you are you know, useful for nothing. So such kind of negativity you have to avoid by involvement, by participation, by keen observation, by curiosity, by critical thinking, by creativity, by skepticism, by humility. So by participation, by management, by time management, by your life management. So all these things, when these are connected, so we create success stories. All the best, guys.